Welcome back to Planet Coaster, masquerading as Transport Fever. I'm Colonel Failure, you're in the Alps, uh, it's business as usual. Uh, we're currently sat outside uh, the, uh, the the entrance to the main tunnel uh, that we worked on, well, recently, I think is the right word, uh, for our TGV lines that we've, uh, that we've set up. And uh, I'm hit, sitting here expectantly waiting for, uh, for a TGV to come... Uh, tearing round the corner because the the first thing that I've done uh, prior to, to setting us in motion today here it is look uh, prior to getting us in motion is uh, is I have double tracked the tunnel not because uh, it needs the capacity uh, but because it means that the trains won't have to slow down uh, so there is every chance that we hit uh, the uh, the elusive higher speeds that these things are capable of although that it did just drop speed there fairly dramatically. I don't know why that is. Uh, anyway, uh, as you can see, the number of passengers it's carrying is picking up quite nicely. Uh, the issue, however, is that uh, here we are, April. We're 300 grand down on the year so far. Uh, I can't see it unless uh, unless we start filling every single one of these and rattling along uh, very close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Waiting for free path. That shouldn't be a thing that happens. What? possible free path are you waiting for? Where's it, where is it? It's, it's here and it's waiting for a free path. I'm, I'm at a bit of a loss. Now, I mean, that's the coal train uh, and, uh, and to be honest, I ought to look at that and, uh, and get that going as well. Uh, let's bang a couple of signals on here and see if we can't move it. Uh, I don't know why it would be waiting for a free path. Surely I've signalled up pretty much all the way to the state. I haven't. Okay. Well, that explains plenty. Um, okay, well, that's a, that's an oversight on my part. Uh, phew, and that almost never happens. Then uh, there should be a signal here, but where there where there currently isn't. All right, well, there, that's fixed. Uh, I've sorted that out. Well, that's no longer a problem. Uh, was a problem. Now, not a problem. Now everything's amazing again. So, well, what I hoped would have been uh, the speed test... Uh, for the for the opening of today, I've blown that. Uh, so uh, there's there's little more for me to do than to uh, to kind of roll the intro and then hope I can redeem myself out the other side. This is a magnificent looking train. Uh, well done, the French. Uh, jolly good show. Um, yeah, no, it, I mean it's it looks it looks very sporty indeed uh, when you when you put it in a black livery. Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's jolly pleasant. Um, anyway, right, before we, uh, before we get to the meat of today's episode, I did want to have a quick look at the coal line since we're in the area, uh, and just get that, uh, double-tracked a little bit further so that the queuing is a little more efficient, because obviously we're running three trains on there right now. I'm not even sure if, uh, if that's killed its profitability or not, but, uh, but either way, it's not running, uh, it's not running as good as it could do. Just want to see how many chaps we end up taking on board here. You'd think with a modern train that it would be able to load, unload a little faster than it. Oh, look at this. We've got, uh, we've got high speeds of many nations going on here. Uh, there you go. There's, there's an HST coming in right next to it. That's, that's the stuff. And obviously the HST looks grimy and rotten. Uh, but that's, uh, that's how we like them in Britain. Uh, right, okay, yeah, so getting over to the coal line, if I'm lucky, the queue is happening as we speak. There we go, so there's one, there's two, there's number three. The, uh, the turnaround at the top of the mountain is, uh, is quite a bit longer than, uh, than a, a three-train setup is, uh, is going to allow. So I'm going to want to uh, double-track, uh, hopefully, around the outside of this, uh, this section here, uh, which, will, uh, which will allow for just, just slightly better queuing. Uh, and I suspect that the queue is caused uh, on the uh, on the upward leg because it is quite uh, it is quite slow, as you can see. Uh, these corners particularly are, are pretty pretty sluggish in nature. And, and frankly, if I were to build this again, uh, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't take this approach, the uh, the the back and forth uh, approach that we've got at the moment. I'd probably try and look for something else where we could uh, where we could maintain speed. Even if the uh, the the difference in uh, distance were a little longer, uh, the same is probably no. The same is undoubtedly true of uh, of the looper as well. Um, 
But, you know, not to worry. Right, now then, how much further do we get to go here? So you've got this last section, which is evidently the slowest, because uh, you've got to go up it, you know, you've got to turn around at the other end. Now, there's there's no distance left before the, the before the platform to get a double track in there. Or is there? Hold on, no, 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 you don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this. Okay, there is. All right, well, is the is the inside of that curve where I want it? Right, might as well, might as well do that. Uh, it's costly, certainly, but I want the the, uh, the coal, much like the spice, uh, must flow. Uh, I'm even going high speed track on one side and uh, and standard on the other side. That's that's going to upset people, but uh, it's in a tunnel, so uh, so no one's really going to notice. One would hope. The fact that I've now uh, drawn attention to it, of course, by talking about it, that's uh, probably not helped my cause too much there. Uh, but there we go. Right, that's. What do you mean, collision? I'm double tracking. Collision should not be in your lexicon. Don't make me rebuild this, because because uh, I don't want to. For starters, uh, right. Well, let's get rid of this tree. Get out of the way, tree. Right. Let's try giving it a little bit more of a run up and see how it gets on. There you go. Marvellous. Uh, right, okay. Well, uh, the, the application of a couple of signals here will do the job. Uh, you're going that way. You're going this way. Uh, because it's all about where you where you leave people waiting. And frankly, having uh, having a lot of queue points is uh, is not a bad thing. Because they'll the, the trains will then figure out for themselves the optimal uh, the optimal weight position. Now on the downhill leg, it shouldn't be a problem, not even remotely. Uh, but uphill, we want to uh, we want to keep stuff trotting along, and then uh, all being well, not uh, not having to hang around for too long. Right, go on, go on, go to there. That's it. Oh, hold on, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. There's a there's a very good reason I've not done this before. Come on. There's some of some of you are pretty astute. You'll uh, you'll you'll twig why I shouldn't have done that. No, okay. Right. The reason I shouldn't have done that is because the train is actually going to be too long to get all the way into the station. It will overlap with this junction, and the whole thing isn't going to work. Thank you very much. I've been Colonel Failure. That's uh, that's today's uh, audience participation error uh, to make you feel good about yourselves and to make me feel like a right Charlie once again. Uh, right, now then, if I were to get rid of this entirely, I know, hold on, you know, it's, wait and see the, uh, the, the the madness in the method here. Alright, and we, uh, we crank this back some, and then get rid of all the rest of it as well, there we are. Now then, if we, uh, if we were to upgrade the station, I don't think it's going to take it, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a go nonetheless. If I had another couple hundred meters onto that... You've got your uh, you've got your terrain alignment collision. Now, I, as is so often the case, uh, this was not my uh, my my plan for today. But uh, here we are. Uh, this is this is what we're doing, right? If we, I don't think it's this side unless it's going off the edge of, edge of the map, which uh, which could cause it a, a small amount of consternation. And of course, at this point, we've we've committed. Uh, Yes, I know we've committed many sins, uh, but no, we've we've committed to the uh, to the to the scheme here. So if I do a bit of that, uh, which you know, it just it just helps things out a bit when it comes to uh, your collision. Right, what are you colliding with? Now, when you get this right, it shows in red the bits it doesn't like, which currently appears to be everything. What if I go one sixty? No, it's, uh, it's not over thrilled about that either. 120. Again, not having not having the best of times. All right, well, I, I don't know what it's doing wrong. Maybe it's, hold on, oh, wait, wait. All right, that'll help. Try it now. Goes, oh, yes, mate, no, yeah, no problem at all. How much do you want? Yeah, yeah, oh, no, we can, we can rattle along for, for ages and ages and ages here. Uh, hold on, unable to align terrain. And I think that's because it's gone off the edge. No, it hasn't quite gone off the edge of the map. Oh, go on, it was really close. I mean, really close. Where's it? 
Do we think it's colliding with that? No, I've got the station selected, so it's not that. Something should be in red to illustrate to me. Actually, we don't need to... Are we, are we trying to double... Pla try, no, we're not trying to double track for it. Words. Um, all right, so what now? Also, uh, the longer you make this thing, the tougher it's going to be to get around that corner. Just letting you know. And don't accidentally bulldoze it. That would not be ideal. All right, well, we'll go 160. So, I mean, that's still an upgrade of, a, of 160 extra meters. Uh, is that everything we need? I think so. Uh, and that might be enough. If I were to look at the uh, the trains we're running on here, we'll be able to get a quick read on, on how long they are. 221. Banging, as, uh, as they say. Uh, right, okay, so if we go around here, it's going to tell me there's too much slope. Uh, no, it's uh, it's completely relaxed about the amount of slope. Well, that's nice. Uh, however, you you have left yourself having to make uh, something of a, an aggressive in tunnel junction here. Ah, never say die. Never never say I don't like doing tunnels underground. No, that's the wrong word because obviously tunneling underground is a you're just talking nonsense now. Just get it done and move on to something else. Uh, right. You should be facing the right way, and then the one that matters. Actually, that's that's one in a completely terrible location. Don't put that there. Uh, put one uh, here. There we go. Right now, where's my next set? Next set are there. That's good. Next set is way too far away. Let's put another set in the tunnel. On that side. On this side. The next set aren't exactly close, so uh, we'll keep them in there. And uh, I mean, you know, I'm I'm almost not even bothered if uh, if they're so close together that you can't fit uh, the full train into that gap. This is all about seeing where the where the queuing happens. So right, we're off and rolling. He's on the wrong side of the track. So's this one. This is going to be a problem. Hold on, we can fix it. Uh, show me the route that you want to take. Yeah, see, that's the... Oh, no, you are, you are on the right side of the track. And yet, this one's on the wrong side of the track. Will it matter? No, it won't matter. You'll, it, it will align correctly uh, once it reaches the summit. So let's, uh, let's hit the accelerator and, uh, and see what that does for us. Now, initially, this is going to mean that this uh, this likely-looking fellow here is going to uh, is going to be pressed. I would imagine at least these signals, if not the next one, um, before hitting the cube. But they should space out more because the the third train is uh, if it's not that it's not that one is it should be is, is around here somewhere it's somewhere definitely around there somewhere. Anyway, here we go. Here's the test. Now turning round. Right, there we go. That's the turnaround done. Uh, because keeping these tra keeping the trains in motion is uh, is by far and away the uh, the more efficient way to uh, to run things. And like so, there you go. Full load. Oh, it might not even be a full load. Not even a full load. Well, this is good. This could have uh, a positive impact on the uh, on the production level that we got in there. I know that won't that be a thing. Uh, right, where are we up to? Right, so here comes the next one. Now, normally it would be queuing around there somewhere, but this time it's going to get. Oh, it's going to have plenty of time to uh, to get up yonder mountain. Yep. Okay. Good. Right. That's going to work when they uh, when they space themselves out a little bit more fluidly. Uh, that'll be that'll be grand. Right over on to today's mission. He says 15 minutes into the uh, into the episode uh, We're back again in uh, in wherever it was. I said I was going to build a passenger hub Because uh, uh, at the moment two train services does not a hub make uh, oh, This is looking this is looking pretty special already. So we've got the uh, the TGV coming in uh, And because we only run two TGVs uh, they can share this platform that's my uh, that's my rationale there, uh, and then you've got uh, where's that class thirty seven gone, uh, and this one so the lakeside traveller, again only needs one platform, 
Right, so we've we've used up these end two here already, uh, but we do have more to play with, and uh, and that's what we're going to do. Now, I've been considering running multiple trains up and down one set of line, um, uh, possibly stopping at some of the same stations. Let's use the uh, show. No, let's not close the window immediately because that that leads a bit of a loss. There we go. So of the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, can't count. One, two, three, four, five. Of the five platforms we are currently using, uh, two are as yet unoccupied, and I want to make sure that they too uh, get some uh, get some love and attention. Uh, I'm also, just for your own reference, there, uh, not completely finished with the looper. We'll go up to Aerolo at some point in the near future and uh, and see about running another line into there as well, because that's the kind of thing it will take in order to make that thing that uh, line successful. Uh, anyway, right, let's, so, if I let's do it again so you can find out exactly which lines you're talking about here. Uh, and I quite like them coming in on, if we call that five and we call that three, okay, so f lines three and five here uh, will quite happily run up and down this uh, this strip of track that the, uh, the Lakeside Traveller just went on. And the most obvious thing for it to do next uh, will be to also stop off in what I'm Gonna say it's Biasca, but I might be wrong. Uh, Bellinzona, Bellinzona. Yeah, we're coming from Biasca. Um, so to stop off in uh, in Bellinzona because there's loads of people waiting here, and having a having a secondary service is going to do it no harm whatsoever. And look, I mean, we've got massive amounts of development going on here as well. The question is, where do we want to go next? Now the TGV peels off down to Volan by Burn, which means that we could we could run a route out to Burn itself, uh, possibly use some of this TGV track. As much as I don't want to slow it down, uh, I'm thinking of running the Metro Liner, um, unless I can find something else. But it's going to need to be something that's relatively quick. Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise, well, you know, disaster will happen. They'll be they'll be fighting in the streets. So if we come in, if we look at Burn Station here, and it's a good one. I like Burn Station a lot since I uh, since I bulldozed my way through it. It's actually uh, it's actually quite a splendid beast. Um, but do I want to come into Burn? Because we could come in at a weird direction. So we could come in round here, and then uh, and then whiz off, kind of this way. What am I running down there? What's that track? I should know. Yellow. What's uh, what's the yellow line here? Yellow is the uh, no. That's a that's a tramp. This is the this the hyper train. Uh, so yeah, we could share up with the hyper train. I don't really like that much either. Where else would be good to get to? I mean, Locarno's already well well sorted by the by the Lakeside Traveller. We could come along with this because there's plenty of demand in Locarno. Uh, now the Lakeside then follows along that way. Uh, and then you're on to the intercity here. If we look at the lines we've got going down here. You can tell I've, I've not thought this through. Uh, but that's where the fun is, people. There we go. So we've got two unoccupied platforms here. Ah, so this is, uh, this is rather... Uh, it's rather provident, if you ask me. So where are we going here? We've got one there and we've got another one here. We need to do some kind of merger because there they are. This one, there you go, see, that one just, you know, fizzles out in and out. All right, well, where's where's good? Show me somewhere good that isn't already covered by the intercity. Do we cater for, this is Thun, presumably. Well, we do cater for it, but not, uh, not from Locarno directly. Okay, right, well, I, I think that might, uh, that might, that might suggest a course of action. We could go even further, look, because we've got the, the four tracks of the station here, and we could whiz it out this way. What's what's next over here? We could go to Habkern, which would be an act of, of idiocy. Although we could do a, a, a Habkern to Eggieville, right, running uh, along here, which would mean there wouldn't be a massive drop in um, in altitude, so that, that might actually be viable. Uh, but you'd want to do it on a corner piece of track so you could get a... Uh, Get a line down the mountain, but frankly, I don't think you're going to get a line down the mountain here. Uh, but there's a there's a very fast way to find out. Uh, let's uh, 
Oh, I'm dropping well base here now. There we go. If we stick a bit of track in there, and let's pretend that's the station, right? And then we want a bit of track down here somewhere. Just for the sake of argument, right? We stick that in there. And then uh, try not to snap to everything along the way. Let's see if it will uh, if it will comply. And... Okay, initial reading looks like too much slope. It's, uh, yeah, it's still underground at that point. Right, too much slope. And, uh, and there it gives us quite an indication of exactly how much slope we're talking about. It's a lot. Uh, that's, that's how much slope we're talking about. So maybe Habkern isn't it. Uh, maybe what we're talking about is Eggerwill, uh, which is slightly lower on the, uh, on the slope. So if we, if we do the same exercise again here, uh, and then we whiz that. Oh, look at this. Uh, you know, hold on. We're up to half a billion for this, uh, this bridge. I don't think it's going to work. I don't, this one, this one, I don't think is going to fly. I think we're, no, we're going to be, uh, frankly, incredibly optimistic. Hold on. No, we're not. It will work. And the bridge isn't completely bananas either. We'll go, I mean, we'll have to do some work over here to make that, that, uh, that happen. Uh, but coming down the mountain through the tunnel, I didn't even look at the price. Perhaps I should. Uh, you get this nice bit of scenic there. That's good. Okay, right. How much did you want for that? 12 million? That's nothing. Uh, you know, I'll spend that much on a, on a caper that I don't even fully believe in. And, and I believe this one might actually have some merit. Uh, right, so... And then you'd want to do a, another track from there that ran up. So I'd, I'd do a uh, kind of a little commuter shuttle between Habkin and Eggerwill uh, that wouldn't pay off, so I'd want to keep it cheap. Right, kill that because we've just proved that that might work. So we use, uh, we use words like might uh, around here because uh, we've, we've done this enough that we know that might is, is where we live in safety. Okay, right, well, let's get a station on the go. Um, right, we'll start off with Habkern. I've, I've committed. Um, uh, what are we talking about as far as distance? Because uh, if we get the distance wrong here, just to finally think this through a little more, we're going to be talking about something like that. So the distance itself isn't too bad. You might be able to, uh, might be able to make a few bucks. And I wonder also if we could get then from Eggerwill to Bolin by Burn, because that's that's another another challenge that I've I've got. And actually, I've got myself distracted there immediately, because uh, we don't want Volan on just one side of the river, or do we? Yeah, we do. No, I'm obsessed with building uh, bridges, so this time let's not. Get back on mission, man. Right, okay, okay. There I am. So we're going to set up a very quick route between Habkern and Eggerwill, um, and, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, splendid. I'm printing money hand over fist at the moment, so I mean, it's, it's as though I've got the no-cost mod on, um, and, you know, that's, that's okay. But, uh, but we're so late game now... Um, that uh, that there is there is precious little challenge remaining. Hold on, this could be uh, that's uh, that's terrifyingly modern. Have we got a have we got a terminal version of the same station there? We do. All right, okay, two platform terminal. I would suggest probably uh, two hundred meter might do the trick. Unable to align terrain. Well, you wait. We're going to line you up with the road now, and then you really won't be able to align the terrain. I want you plumbed in there like it was meant to be. Half a million, two buildings will be removed. That's where I need it, except I need more track than that. There we go, two. To be honest. Uh, 600k, that's fine. Uh, give me high speed track. Give me a second street connection. Oh yeah, they see, look, every time it goes like, yep, I can do that, it kind of go, what if I make it more difficult? I uh, see, no. No, Second Street connection was a was a step too far. All right, we won't bother with it. Yeah, banging in there. Delete those. Done. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna want uh, I want to want a commuter service of some description around here, and that's that's a rather exciting bit of road there, isn't it? Whoa! Show me someone coming downhill. Here we go. This uh, this Trabant looking dude is gonna give it a spin. Wallop, bosh. 
famed for their brakes uh, were these uh, these beautiful Russian cars. Uh, right, okay, now then, let's get over to Habkern. Uh, we're just going to run... I, I, I'm tempted to even run the Red Arrow on here, you know, because, uh, you know, it's, it's cheap, it's cheerful, it gets the job done, people seem to like it, and, uh, and everywhere that I've run it so far, it's actually made some money. Right, well, you know, leave that one with me. I haven't fully decided yet. Uh, now then, the, the, here is uh, the slightest indication of uh, of the kind of challenge that we've got for ourselves. So I think we're going to have to plunk it in uh, in here somewhere. And then, uh, I don't know, give me, give me where you can align the terrain, or do you want me to go carve some out for you first? Because this is going to be your one and only uh, rail solution. I'm not hooking anything up to uh, anything else up to here. I just want to fill in a few gaps. Uh, I, I never like being in a situation where I've still got uh, areas of the map left untouched when I uh, when I leave. I like I like to touch every area of the map and uh, and really leave my mark. There you go. That'll do. I don't even need two tracks on here. I only need one. But we'll have two anyway, and we'll say that it, you know we'll we'll promise the town council that you know oh no we've every intention of uh, of, of bringing uh, a whole a whole stack load more passengers your way, Mr. Mayor. Um, yeah, we'll do that really soon. No, no, definitely. That's uh, uh, no, 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 no. We're not just going to place this one thing and leave. <laughs> what do you take us for? Uh, no, no. I d anyway, I've got another meeting now. I'm uh, I'm off. Uh, but uh, but I'm sure it'll all go great. Bye then. That's a little bit of role play for you there. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's not what you've come to expect. 24 million quid. For 12 million, I could get all the way down the bottom of the... I'm pointing at the screen and gesticulating madly. Oh, I see we've got that. No, 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 we don't want to do that. When you've, when you've got the chance there, folks, is uh, what you want to do... Actually, I've done quite a lot of this recently, is... Uh, is stay topside if you can. There we go. There's an emergent point. Emergence point, and uh, and then uh, and then rock around following the uh, contour. Put a contour on, and then uh, make sure we've got the correct bridge selected. Actually, we'll take something uh, unconventional and modern. Okay, it's not that unconventional. Uh, yeah, stay on the. That's it. Stay on the line. You are dipping down, and actually, we want to we want to be going up here, not down. We've we've broken from the surface. We've broken to the surface too quickly. Let's uh, ease it back some. It's only money. I got loads of it. Right here we go. Let's try that again. Right, and then actually, so if we continue following this this line around here. Try and stay. You try, try and move the camera in a way that allows you to follow the line. This rocket is in the line. There we go. That's it. Now you're on it. There's another rock in the line. Coming around here. Where are we? Overshot. Almost got hit by a plane as well for a trouble. Uh, right. Okay. So there's the other station. So it's going to come down here. And then... Uh, is it that rock? This rock? It's one of the rocks. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna need to uh, to pivot in an uphill style direction relatively soon, but that is that is better. One eight four should be fast enough. I'm not going to run the metro liner up to this bit. Uh, metro liner top speed two hundred. There we go. Whack thirteen million. That's uh, that's still a ruddy fortune that is, but uh, less of a ruddy fortune than the the, the previous approach that it offered me. So that's the left-hand track. So let's go grab the other end and make sure we've got it on the left-hand side of the station. Otherwise, that would be an error. Oh, I've, I've, I've handily left myself the ability to uh, to finish off with a, a, a switch of, of track side in the tunnel, which, as we all know, is the uh, is the the hardest way to do it. Uh, right, we'll double track all the way because uh, I'm going to run a, a goodly number of trains in and out of this tunnel uh, just to keep the uh, the pace of it up. And it's not that scenic, given that a good three quarters of the distance is uh, is underground. But it would be quite nice to actually get these two towns building up a little bit of uh, a little bit of interest 
late in late in the game. Uh, since we're passing, sort that out, will you? There we go. What have we What have we done here? Is that a tunnel wall? It's the tunnel weird. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, well, you know, just press on. Pretend it's not there. Uh, it does look a little odd, uh, but we're over it. Carry on. All right, and into the stage. Oh, even better than that. I've left it so that we've got to uh, we've got to do a, an in tunnel merge at both ends. No matter, no matter. Um, we'll uh, we'll we'll muscle through where that's concerned. Now then, I'm going to want this to head off that way. All right, I don't want to take it too far. I know you're looking at me like I've I've gone strange, but. Uh, I assure you, I've uh, I've got a notion. We're not going to get around there, are we? Terrain alignment collision, you don't say. All right, no, we need to rethink this. Hold on. Mr. Bulldozer. There we go. Uh, yeah, I've, I've made a mess of my mountain, and, uh, and I didn't do it deliberately. What I want to do is do it deliberately, and then we will have the space to make this junction. Because, obviously, we're going to need... Um, we're going to need to be able to take a, a junction off to, to head out to, to Thun down there. It's, uh, it's up the size of the brush. All right, okay. That's, that's taking it so that it's below ground level. If we smooth that out now. How's that look? Dangerous is how that looks. Like it's subsiding. There we are, smooth. All right, okay. Where's the track? All right, let's see what this does. Where's that put me tunnel entry? That's better. Got a bit of manoeuvring space now. Good. Well, right. bit of manoeuvring space. It's pretty much essential for your modern uh, your modern transport builder. Uh, there we are. Are we? Yes, we are. Right. Uh, and then what I was thinking is we take... Let's do this side first. And we take this side off like this. All right. Uh, get it out there before the tunnel because you've got a second track to put in there. And then bring it back on the other side as well. Line all that up, and then uh, and then s uh, slip switches like you wouldn't believe. That's a slip switch. It's not really the same thing, is it? Hold on, is it? That's, that's not even going to work. You know, you need that one to be coming over as well. All right, try it again. Kind of, you had fun with it the first time. Have another go. Right. So from here, there you go. There uh, we go. Like that. Good. Now, it's a slow corner, uh, but that's okay, because we're coming out of the station. Uh, and then, because I'd rather do it on with, with full double track, we'll do something like that, which is, I think, is going to look quite ugly. You'd be surprised that uh, it does look quite ugly. Double slip switch, that one, and this one. Right. Sanity check yourself. So if we use this uh, left-hand platform, we can get out on that side, and we can get in on this side. Okay. If we use this side platform, we can come in. Uh, we can come in from this side. Yes. You, although you shouldn't, uh, and then you can get back out on the, that side. Yes, you can. Right. Okay, that's going to work. Uh, meanwhile, I have also connected the uh, the platform. Not actually solved the problem that I wanted to originally, unless we use this side of the... You're coming on that side, and there's absolutely nothing to help you out with that. Well, that was good. I mean, that was the problem you were trying to solve initially, and, uh, and you haven't. What are you going to do about that? Because you need to cross from this side over to that side. Anyone? Or do we? No, no, no. We'll come in on this side. It'll be fine. And then we'll zip out. We'll, we'll take one of these and, and we'll bang it up there. Worrying about nothing, man. Come on. Seriously, you've got this under control. Right, so, eggy will to the other end. Uh, there it is. Uh, it's decided to go in grey because it doesn't want us to see what it's up to. Uh, and it's going to stay on one side of the track because I haven't done anything junction-wise at the other end yet. I know. I, I realised the uh, the problem immediately. Now then, what should we do here? Uh, well, 
Let's uh, let's just see if we can't do it. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Uh, try it in the tunnel. Okay, that worked. How's that look? Kind of hard to tell. We can't poke our head too far in the tunnel. It doesn't want us to. But if we uh, if we swing up the other end, we might be able to see it using both sides of the track, which it isn't. Oh dear. Maybe if I uh, maybe if I put some encouragement with signals. Uh, that would that would set things right. Let's see every time. Uh, we'll stick some there. We'll stick some here. That's a plane. Keep your eyes peeled. There it is. Came out on a mountain. Well, that that uh, that possibly leads to a situation where you could be quite happily on your train, and then uh, then a, a plane th flies through the mountain next to you. Come on, let's try and uh, get another signal in here. It's no good having one on one side of the track. That's just uh, untidy. There we are. Put one there. Actually, untidy is hardly something I can criticise. Uh, right, one on that side. And then you have to turn it around in order to get one on the other side. No, it's not. It's not doesn't want it. Doesn't want to do it. It's not interested. It's not playing the game. Come on. Thank you. And then a bit more, because obviously this goes on for miles and miles and miles. Uh, one there, and on the other side. Oh, I tell you, a subterranean building in this is a mission. I might might declare a no subterranean rule for the next series. That's a bold statement to be making at this side, the step of the stage of the, the proceedings. Uh, you might want to hold off till you've at least seen the map before you say things like that. Uh, right, there we go. That should be enough, and if we stick a if we just stick a cheeky signal on there, that will allow it to queue a little better. Obviously, we put one on here, and then do we want to stick one on there as well? It's not going to do us any favours that, so uh, no. Where's the nearest tunnel? I'd quite like to put a release signal in there, even though it doesn't need it. Because uh, the trains are smart enough to use points when they uh, when they can do. Now the only thing I'm really missing at this stage is uh, is a depot to actually get some trains on there, and uh, and that would be something I'd quite like to achieve right now. Also, there's not really anywhere to put a depot, unless it's a depot that I subsequently delete, and the the trains are then there for life. Let's do that. Uh, right, let's go with this. Give me something that, that is depot-like, right? I'm not allowed to use the points thing because uh, uh, that will just get me into trouble. There we are. Let's buffers, not points. Unable to align anything. I might have to use the... Uh, I don't know. I might have to advise you to look away. All right. Okay, uh, Puritans, look away now. There we go. All right. Yeah, just uh, just don't look. Okay, uh, this is going to be uh, the uh, the cliffside. Cliffside? Do we like that? No. Uh, mountain tunnel. There's an N in there. Mountain uh, tunnel. Um, uh, short stack. All right, because I'm just going to run a little a little tiny little thing on here. Don't even know which one, uh, but I'm going to put. Uh, I think we'll put four. Right, so they they can have low capacity and uh, and that's fine. Um, but getting that rolling is going to uh, is going to help us out. So let's go straight for multiple units. Let's go straight for electrics first. What do we got? We got a future train, which is a bit it's a bit pacey and a bit expensive for this particular line. Again, I come to the uh, these these nice Dutch uh, these Dutch numbers, but I'm running them in several different places. Uh, we've got the Japanese railway set, which has got way more capacity than I need, and then we've got the uh, the, the double stock. The, no, it's not a dual stocks. This is just a, a double decker commuter. No, nope, these are all inappropriate. All right. Okay. Well, we we will end up looking at diesels. We're at Mirage. Mirage isn't bad, but it's quite expensive. I mean, one and a half million a year is it's expensive. And that red arrow at 284,000, uh, admittedly, it's a train from 60 years ago. All right, what have we got on the uh, on the diesel side of things? Not a lot, to be honest. We've got the, uh, I'm already overusing it, 
uh, but it is quite cheap and it was somewhat still in service. <laughs> no, someone's going to pick you up on that, man. You can't say that. It may or may not have still been in service in 1991. Uh, I think they were phased out in the 80s, but I could be wrong. Someone will correct me. They always do. Uh, okay, well, let's have a look and see what else we've got here. I think an electric is going to be overkill, so we want a cheap-ish diesel. 140 to 160. We've got these Russians uh, who appear to be I, I can't tell if they're just ubiquitous in terms of their, their power attractive effort there or if they're goods. They certainly have a, a certain workman-like quality to them. Um, no, I'm not seeing anything I like. I, I'm afraid it's either going to be the Mirage. No, let's do it. Let's let's run the Mirage up here. Mirage is a nice train. Uh, we'll go with three rather than four, which is possibly too many. One, two, three. Uh, set line, mountain, tunnel, effort, fandango. There we go. Uh, let's make it a nice colour as well. Uh, we're, we're high up in the mountain. We don't want to get eaten by polar bears. So let's go for the closest thing we can get to a white livery on here. Which is either that incredibly vibrant kind of turquoise deal. Or we go with, uh, we go with a grey. Well, a grey fits in quite nicely, so I think we'll I think we'll go with that. Now, almost nobody's going to use this service. All right, I I know this. That's fine. Um, ever uh, because someone who lives in the mountain on this side is hardly likely to get all hot and bothered about getting to another bit of mountain where nothing's going. What do we got here? What's that? That's a that's an unusual, right? Okay, uh, we got an uh, Airbus. We got some city buses. We got a, an awful lot of locomotive variations going on. Well, that's that's, uh, that's quite exciting. Uh, right, that's going to wrap it up for this time. I know, short and sweet and cheerful and beautiful, rather like myself. Um, and uh, and next time we're going to pick it up where we uh, where we continue this route out uh, with the Metro Liner. I'm I'm just setting your expectations, folks. I mean, it's going to be the Metro Liner. All right, you don't. You may not be over thrilled about that. It is. Uh, it is an overused train. Ah, um, oh, this looks brilliant. I love how just workmanlike it is. It's kind of got. It's got a hint of the future about it, but it's also jolly workmanlike. Make me a. Uh, sign me up. I'm a fan. Uh, don't wrap it. I'll ride it home. Uh, although I'd rather not. I'd rather get you know something a bit more modern. Uh, that's a good view. Look at that for a view. Checking over the, the magnificent urban sprawl of Burn or Thun or wherever it is. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, fling a like at this one if you enjoyed it, and uh, and be sure to subscribe to keep up with the next uh, stunning turn of events that is sure to be levy, leaving you breathless and uh, and more than a little bit uh, underwhelmed. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Wait for the train. Cheerio.